We move now to the car crash that killed an eight year old in Lexington. Police say Amber Whitaker slammed into the back of a DOT truck on Tuesday morning. She had four children in the car with her. Two went to the hospital in critical condition. One of them died this morning. Whitaker faces a DWI charge. Many want to know why the charges haven't been upgraded and why her bond was just $500. WFMY News 2's Ariel Cadet spoke to two attorneys to find out. She also got a hold of the 911 calls. We do have the paramedics started. I'm going to tell you exactly what to do next. Do not spend any injuries and do not move them unless they are in danger, okay? The paramedics are on the way, okay? Frantic moments Tuesday morning after a crash in Lexington that left four children injured. One died, another is still in critical condition in the hospital. Police charged the driver, Amber Whitaker, with a DWI. She only had to pay a $500 bond. Especially if the person that doesn't have a prior criminal history, no record, they have ties to the community, they don't have a history of running and missing court. Um, a $500 bond is not unusual in this type of case. Jason Keith is a criminal defense attorney. In cases like Whitaker's, he says it's likely she'll face more charges. But the $500 bond reflects her only current charge, DWI. Traditionally, if there is some form of a accident as a result of an impairment and there's a fatality, um, pretty often um, there is some mandatory jail sentence that usually um, you know, the local county would actually enforce. He says if the prosecutor decides to press more charges, Whitaker would be rearrested. It breaks my heart every time I hear a story like this because you know lives are absolutely shattered. David Daggett is a personal injury attorney and works closely with individuals hurt in impaired driving crashes. He says the next steps for the family of the children injured is to wait for more potential charges and seek proper counsel. So getting people involved early who have the expertise to sort through and kind of unwind all the facts to figure out what's going on is very, very important. Police on scene say Whitaker admitted to taking 200 milligrams of methadone before driving. They say they also found Xanax in her car.